everyone, CFL Park Hopper here at Toy Story Land. It finally opened and we have made it here to check it out. So let's see what it looks like. So here's, so here's another look at Woody. And he does talk every now and then. So let's see if we can hear him say something. And notice there is a line here to get your picture with Woody. <laughs> and of course he's not going to say anything while we stand here. There goes Slinky Dog. Let's keep going in. Hey, howdy, hey. Oh. My name is Woody, and this is where toys come to play. Welcome to Andy's Backyard. There you go, now he said it. So yes, we are in Andy's Backyard. And as you can see, the entire land is designed as if Andy built it himself, if he designed and put all of these toys in place. So check it out. And here is Andy's footprint right here on the ground. And there's another one up here. So right when you come in, you're gonna see Jesse and Rex, and they're on top of the Slinky Dog Dash coaster. Let's stand here for a little bit and wait for the coaster to come by. It's so fun he actually talks, Slinky Dog. Slinky Dog is faster than a pack of critters racing for little. That is affirmative. Thank you for that observation. Jesse. There we go. Hello Hi. there. Are we enjoying playtime? Yes, it's that wonderful. Affirmative. <laughs> I hope Jesse and Rex get these lights up quick. I it's hope so. to get dark. I know it. There we have it. Hello there, younger crew. It is an honor. Here, Thank you so much for our lights. There, there we go. Public Which speaking. Like Wait. 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 I can do it. Welcome. How was that? Was it welcoming enough? Oh, I hope so. Super cute. So all the toys talk. And as you saw, we just saw one of the green army men. There goes the coaster again. So super fun. Now, as we come in here, you can see that it is crowded. <laughs> And what time of day are we coming in? You're probably wondering. We're coming in in the evening, as the Green Army man told you. It's um, 5.30, 5.45 actually at this point. So um, I tend to like to not come in the morning. Um, in the morning, it's gonna be very hot in the summertime, very crowded. Uh, extra magic hours are going on every morning for resort guests from seven to 8 a.m. And the park is opening at 8 a.m. every day for, res for regular guests. So if you come in the morning, you're gonna be dealing with really big crowds trying to get into the land and a lot of heat. I like to wait till the afternoon until uh, you know the rain has come. As you can see, it's a little more overcast. Here comes Slinky Dog again. Check this out. And, and then come into the park because it's a lot easier to get in and more comfortable. It's not nearly as crowded. Now look over here. We have Woody and Jesse giving autographs. And this is the new entrance to the Midway Mania, Toy Story Midway Mania. So we'll show you that in a sec. So they are now giving autographs here. And this is a picture of what Midway Mania, what the ride vehicle looks like if you've never been here. So over here, where we just passed by, that is the entrance to Midway Mania. It used to be on the other side in Pixar Place. That area is now gone. You just come to the back area here, like you're going to Pixar Place and then you turn into Toy Story Land. So they have moved the entrance to Midway Mania back here. And right now it's a 55 minute wait and they do have fast pass. So not terrible, you know, for this time of day. All right, let's keep heading into the land. Now there are three rides in the Toy Story Land area. There is the Slinky Dog Dash Coaster, which we've seen and we'll get closer to that. There's Midway Mania, which we just passed. And there is also Alien Swirling Saucers, which we're coming up to. All three of these have fast pass, but you are only allowed to choose one. So you're gonna have to choose one when you come to Hollywood Studios, and then you can get two other rides in the rest of the park for your other two um, choices. Slinky Dog Dash right now, here is the end of the line, coming up to it, and it says 105 minutes. Now, as I said, I'm getting here, it's almost six o'clock at night. I guarantee if you keep waiting till later in the evening, parks open till 10 30 this is going to keep dropping um, especially if you get a really good thunderstorm like florida does sometimes in the summer this will keep dropping down
So let's say I can only get one fast pass for this area. Which one am I gonna choose? You're gonna have to choose it by the things you like to do. The Slinky Dog roller coaster is not extremely um, hard of a roller coaster. It's more on the kiddie side. I've heard it's kind of in between Seven Dwarfs Mine Train and Big Thunder Mountain. Um, so if you've been to Magic Kingdom and have tried those, it's on that end of the spectrum. But if everyone in your family is gonna wanna do Slinky Dog, then I would probably choose that. If you have really young children, then you may want to choose the Alien Swirling Saucers, and that's over here. And we'll get over closer so you can see that. But there it is. I'll zoom in. Those are the ride vehicles. And that, I think it's 32 inches is the height requirement. And it's, um, it's similar to teacups, but not exactly. It just kind of sways back and forth. You don't have control over the vehicle, so but it, it's not completely 100% spinning. It's kind of a left to right motion. So let's kind of watch it. There it goes. Let's kind of whip you around. And so it's not terrible. I don't know how dizzy you would get. Probably not too bad. Not as bad as like a teacup type of ride. But you're, again, you're going to have to decide what thing interests you most, what you're most willing to wait for or not willing to wait for. I know a lot of people have said with this alien ride, they probably wouldn't wait um, very long for this. And this has tended to have about an 80 to 90 minute wait. So... You know, most people would say they'd be more willing to wait for the Slinky Dog and then get the Fast Pass for this. If this didn't have a Fast Pass, they wouldn't ride it. So you'll have to kind of decide. And then the Midway Mayhem is the other one, and that's an indoor ride. Um, and it's um, it's kind of like playing a video game. You ha have 3D glasses on, and you um, are playing games on the 3D screen, kind of like carnival games. So you'll just have to decide which of those three you want to get. If you do maximize your day and come in the morning, if you can get all of your Hollywood Studios Fast Passes in the morning, um, then once you've used that third one, you can get something else. Check out the little alien here, isn't he cute? I'll zoom back out. So that could always be your option, is maybe you'd get lucky enough to snag one later in the day, but I can't guarantee that everything is so popular right now, being the beginning of summer that it just opened. But if you're coming fall or winter, um, you know, for your trip, you may have better luck. Check out over here is the view of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge being built. So you have a really nice view of that <laughs> here in the Toy Story Land. So that's really cool. And that's going to open in fall of 2019. So we keep coming by the Alien Swirling Sauces. We're going to keep coming down to check the wait time for that. There is a set of restrooms over here and check how they're made out of all the blocks. So if you've noticed everything so far um, has been made out of all different kinds of toys in this area. Because again, it's designed as if Andy designed it in his backyard. So it's really creative. You could spend a lot of time just looking around here at all the different things. And yes, right now, the Alien Swirling Saucers is a 90 minute standby wait. So that you'll have to check on. Look at Buzz. I love how all the different toys talk. That is super great, you know, because in the movie they do talk and they're real. So it's kind of neat to see that they kind of take on that same characteristic here, but not just statues. And you see little Buzz Light ears. Um, Looks like he's got his launch area back there as part of the queue, so that's pretty neat. All right, let's keep walking around. And here on the other side of the restrooms is Woody's Lunchbox, which is the one eatery in this area. They have grilled sandwiches, grown-up drinks, ice cream floats, dessert, and kids' meals. We are going to try something to eat here after a while, and uh, we'll let you know how that goes. But check it out. Look at this little themed table to sit at with the little Baby Bell cheese. This area is sponsored by Baby Bell cheese. So that's really cute theming. So here is the food. And they have like sandwiches and different pastries and things. So we're gonna get some of that in a bit. Let's get the whole little thing of dominoes. They do have merchandise for sale on this little play family camper from Fisher Price. Isn't that cute? So I am really interested in getting some of these alien ears right here. Aren't these cute? Not neat and look his eyes kind of move it's pretty cool so i think i might have to get that they all have cups backpacks that say i played there at toy story land and hats that say on the back it says i played there so those are great souvenirs you can get as well as buzz like your things let's check out the other side on this side they have the slinky dog ears 
different toys. And real Slinky Dog toys. So those are cute. This is the Slinky Dog ears. Oh, they're cute. All right, I'm getting these alien ones. Pretty neat. Okay, now I'm right up next to where the actual real queue starts. Past the big line, made it up to the front here, just to kind of see what it looks like. But uh, the, the line here, see the, looks like a dog collar? Let's check underneath it. And check out the Candy Land character as the height. He's pretty neat. He was part of the whole conversation. Right this way? But that dog collar is Buster's dog collar. Can you see that? That's pretty cute. We're gonna, so we're gonna check out this side of the roller coaster. Coming by, get ready. Hey. This looks like a really fun ride, you guys. Oh, check this out, here he comes. Coaster is so cute looking. I love the ride vehicle. All right, so check out Slinky Dog Dash. And over there's Alien Swirling Saucers. When you come to Disney's Hollywood Studios, come check out Toy Story Land. It's super neat. Um, hopefully, my advice will help you come in the evening. It's a lot cooler now than if I would have came in the morning. And even though it's a 95 minute wait right now, I think this could still drop be a lot less later in the evening. These lights are gonna turn on when it becomes dark as well. So I think we will stick around and check it out in the dark. All right, in a little bit, we're gonna go over here and try some food. So that'll be up next. Okay, so here's the menu at Woody's Lunchbox. We've got the barbecue brisket melt, the Monte Cristo, which sounds delicious, the grilled cheese, smoked turkey, the tachos, yum, and the lunchbox tarts. Man, this is hard to decide. Okay, so I went with the barbecue brisket. Man, it was a tough choice. I'm going to be back here again because I want to try the tachos and the other stuff. But this has cheese, barbecue sauce, pickles. Looks really yummy. It got, it came with tater top barrels. It's too hot for me for soup. And the other thing was macaroni salad, which I just went with these for today. I also got the raspberry tart. So let's give the sandwich a taste. Okay, so the sandwich is super delicious. The, the meat is from... Um, perfectly cooked it's nice and tender got a good barbecue flavor it goes really well with the cheese and the pickle and the toasted bread has like a it's like a garlic butter spread um, on the toast so it's just that total really good barbecue flavor that you want all in one excellent okay so the barbecue sandwich was delicious now I'm gonna give the um, pastry a whirl so this has raspberry filling and I think it has like little strawberry candies on top. Mm-hmm. Having like a homemade gourmet Pop-Tart. Really tasty. The only downside is that it is all outdoors. There I am. There is no AC whatsoever. It's just um, covered umbrellas under some of the tables and there's the lunch box. So again, I'm here in the evening. It's not so bad. Even though I've been in here in the evening, I've been here for like an hour and outside I've been sweating like I'm ready for some AC so I can't really imagine eating breakfast or lunch here in the summer when the Sun is baking down on you because the Sun is super bright here in the mornings in the summer now fall winter spring it might be very pleasant and beautiful but summertime you might want to think about that I do want to come and try their breakfast but I think I will have to wait to the fall because it's really bright out here 
Up here, check this out, on top of this tower, see the army man? He keeps talking. <laughs> so he's pretty neat. And I all Okay, so overall that meal was super delicious and I will be back to try more food. So yes, this is the A. One is on here. There's another one that I pointed out on this side. There is a three back here. And there's a one printed here too. So do you guys know what that is? The A113? That's the license plate from the Pizza Planet truck. So that's kind of cool. Look at the giant ball. And look over here. This is down here is the, in, the exit from the Toy Story Midway Mania. But this is part of the line for the Midway Mania. But I found Bo Peep. And I think this is her board game here. Because the title says, Lost her, Bo Peep lost her sheep. So isn't that a neat board game? There's all kinds of really great things inside these queues as well. You will not be bored looking in the queues. Oh, here's a little sheep. <laughs> so whether you're in the Midway Mania queue, the Slinky Dog queue, or the Alien Swirling Saucer queue, there is something great to look at everywhere you turn. The only thing indoors is the Midway Mania ride. Everything else is outdoors, even the eatery as I just showed you. I'm gonna leave the land for a little bit and then I'm gonna come back so you can see it all lit up at night. Uh, we have about another hour and a half till it gets dark. So I'm gonna go find some AC in the park and come back. Now, a couple of things that I would say. If you are staying on property, I would take advantage of the early morning hours, especially if you're having trouble getting fast passes. Remember, you can book fast passes 60 days out from your resort stay. But if you don't get one of these rides, especially Slinky Dog, you may wanna be here during that extra morning hour to get that done. But I would not plan to stay in this area very long as it will be extremely hot. And I would go and do the rest of the park in the daytime because the rest of the rides here at this park are indoors and air conditioned. And then I would come back to this part of the park in the evening. Hollywood Studios now I feel adding this land does make this more of a full day park. A lot of people before, you know, it was only a half a day thing. I think you could make a full day here now that they have added this. So there's more worth your while. And of course, next year we'll be adding more rides. There's before Star Wars Land even opens, they're gonna add um, Mickey's Runaway Railway. It's inside the Grauman's Chinese Theater. They're gonna be also adding, they just announced a Cars um, show, a Lightning McQueen show. So that's gonna come in early 2019. So all kinds of things are coming. They're gonna help make this park more of a full day park and make it more entertaining. But I'll tell you, just from stepping into this Toy Story Land, uh, you could spend a good hour, hour and a half in here just looking around at the decorations. It's really neat. So we will come back. Okay, we're back and it's getting dark. So the lights are on. Alien Swirling Saucer is here 8.30 at night, 45 minutes. So that line is dropping. There's Buzz. Let's come look at the Swirling Saucers ride a little more up close with the lights on. Here's the restrooms. All lit up. Cross. And you can see the lights coming on. All right, let's come up close to this. Oh, wow. looks like 45 minutes. You're under Buzz's tower. So you really queue through over here. Look, they have like one of the blaster guns. It looks like if you've been on Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters, it looks like his blaster gun over from Magic Kingdom brought it over here. So it looks like you just circle through here and then over to there. It doesn't really look like 45 minutes. So maybe it's not so bad. You know, of course, the later it gets, the easier it's gonna get to get on stuff. And why is that, you might think? Because, you know, um, they have Fantasmic at this park, and they also have Star Wars fireworks at this park. So as it starts getting dark around nine o'clock, those events happen and people are gonna wanna go out and see those. Again, if you're here for a week long vacation, you might wanna choose one night just to be here in Toy Story Land 
and maybe another night to see fireworks and things like that. All right, let's go over and check out what Slinky Dog looks like at night. I didn't comment earlier, but did you see the little cootie bugs? There's so much to look at. Over here, there's like a post-it note to tell you that Toy Story Midway Mania is straight ahead. And over to your right. So I like that. Because again, this is like if Andy built this area and he designed it. So I think that's kind of neat. Okay, unfortunately, the Slinky Dog line's a lot longer. It's 145 minutes now. So that kind of got longer here as the night went on. But again, this is going until 10.30. It's only 8.30. There's still two more hours. So, you know, maybe save this for last and do the other rides. And this will keep dropping as the night goes on. Let's come over here closer to the queue. We didn't really get to see a lot of the queue. So let's see what else we can see from the outside here. Look at the giant Lincoln logs right here. It's pretty neat. Yeah, they're really thick and weaved into this queue. <laughs> so this is going to be a long wait right now. But, you know, in the evening, not so bad because it's a lot cooler here. But there is no covering. This is all outdoor queue. So this would be really hot in the morning. And in the morning it'll be just as long if you're not here right at rope drop. Uh, you will be in the, this long a line probably at 10 in the morning and it'll be in the direct sun. They do have some covering but it's all open air. There's no AC. There's the coaster pulling into the station. I came clear up to where the exit is. Yes, you get closer because of the loading platform. They're going to have to get out right here. You can see Mr. Mike over there. It looks like this thing runs three trains because there's one loading, one unloading, and one just pulled in behind us. So three trains, they do a very efficient job. Um, I think this line is going to move much more efficiently than something like Flight of Passage does over at Animal Kingdom. So... You know, I don't think you're going to see those massive waits. Like, Flight of Passage typically is a three-hour wait all the time. Um, I think this will be busy for a while, but I think this will become more and more controlled as they go. So, it will be efficient. They actually might have four trains, because there goes one right now. And they still have the one that just left the load and two more. So, that, that's pretty efficient if they have four trains on the track. And the track lights up. So that's pretty cool. Let's watch this part here in the night. Oh, here he comes. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I like that. Here we go. Fun little ride on Slinky Dog Dash. He's such a happy looking dog, isn't he? Alright. Check out the giant ball. I don't know if I showed you this earlier. But I think this is really neat because it's kind of lit up at night. So it's a great picture spot. Super cool. Massive. Let me hug it. Oh, <laughs> too funny. Yeah, let's get one more look at Slinky Dog on the opposite side. He has, there's two sides to the track, so it's a really long ride. So this is really the first half of the ride, and the other part where the go lights were, that's the second half of the ride. This part with Jesse and Rex up here, this is the first part. Here it comes. This is his first big hill. I love how he makes sound. It's super cute. So it's a good lengthy ride. So it's worth your wait, I would say. You know, if you're going to wait the two hours, it's almost three that it is now. Uh, it's worth your wait. It's a cute ride. All right, Midway Mania right now is 85 minutes. So yeah, it's a little long, but they're open till 1030. Crack three eyes. <laughs> I didn't know you escaped the claw. I managed to get out. <laughs> oh, excellent. That's what we like to hear around here. Well, you make sure you stay away from it. All, all right. right. We'll I've do. There's some crazy things that happen. All right. Thanks. Off. You're welcome. Right. So, Miss Green Army Lady was coming on my ears once again. They light up at night. 
so check that out. Well folks, I guess we're gonna have to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed our time here looking at Toy Story Land at Disney's Hollywood Studios. If you're here this summer, check it out. They have late night hours as well for resort guests, probably twice a week, um, two hours after park closes, as well as those every day in the morning. So hopefully if you're staying on property, you'll get some time to come in and enjoy these rides. And if you're not staying on property, do your best, get some fast passes, try to come into the land in the evening, do the rest of the park in the daytime while it's air conditioned, that kind of thing. Take breaks if you come into this area because it's gonna get real hot. If you're here in the winter time, it'll be a lot easier, I promise. All right, so check it out while you're here. Hit like and subscribe on our channel down below to see more. Thanks for watching.